Okay, so those are the pickleball courts that this guy's working on for sure, which, like I said, I'm gonna have to come and get some pickleball training in. Never played once, but I'm pretty sure I could mop some people up in some pickleball. We are out here at Montagna Park. It's gonna be the sixth park in Inspirata. It's currently being finalized, so there's some finishing details that they're working on. Hopefully it'll be done by the end of the summer. We got a couple dog parks here. There's a trail that kind of winds down, and down below is actually a bridge that's gonna lead to all of the, the recreational area, which is awesome. Wanted to give you guys a tour and check out the newest park in Inspiratus being built, Montagna. Montagna? I don't know, it's Italian, I think, so we'll have to edit that in the back end, maybe put up a definition, because I think it's Italian. So one of the cool features is we have small dog park over here, a large dog park over here. So depending on the size of your pup, you have like different areas to be sorted out in, but nice to have a place where you can bring your dog to kind of run around, get some of that energy out. And it uh, looks like they're putting the finishing touches on this area still, right behind it. Got a nice trail that's gonna lead down over into the sports parks area. And you can already see too, they've got some KB homes in the process of being built right in the background. So there's gonna be some lots that are like right up adjacent to this park area, which is great. So this area back behind too, this is all like the Sloan Canyon conservation area. So there's some really cool trails up there. You can see a building slightly off in the distance. They're actually gonna be building like an amphitheater seating area back in that. There's actually one trail back there in particular where you can see some petroglyphs and that's a really popular one to go on that hike. You're into like the hiking and the trails and all of that. Some really fun ones to, to go on back here in the Sloan Canyon area. So yeah, here we are. We're like right in the middle of all the development with the playground. We were just back up there and eventually there's gonna be a bridge that's gonna come over into this area right here. So it's gonna be pretty easily accessible for some of the homes over on the further north side of these Western villages to get down over into this area. It's gonna be real easy for a lot of the neighborhood kids to kind of like shuffle over and have a middle point to meet up with instead of over at Atessa. So some really cool advantages. Let's go take a look at kind of what they've got going on over here. So sitting area, multiple climbing structures, which is awesome. And then there's supposed to be a water feature as well. So there isn't a pool at this park, but that water feature to, for kids to play in would be a, a nice way to cool off. So yeah, this will probably be filled in with like a nice rubber flooring for the kids to be able to run and jump on. A um, little bit of shock absorption. Things pretty steep, so it looks like it's gonna be like some sort of a rock climbing wall, right? In the first four pods of Inspirata, there's baseball parks, but it'll be nice to have a couple over this way on the Western Villages, just cause, I mean, it's not a super far walk into the original first four pods of Inspirata, but when you're on the side, it can be like kind of an uphill downhill trek, which makes things a little difficult to get into the center of Inspirata. Having something over this way that has those features is really nice. Not gonna lie, like I'm really tempted to bury like a Dodgers flag at home plate or something without them. <laughs> the mic is on. <laughs> I mean, would they know? Well, I guess now we gotta go like the soon to be Las Vegas A's. But dude, like even this being shaded for people to come watch games, like we watch, we go to our, our nephew's Little League games and like just this structure is so nice that it'll have like some shading for the parents that come to watch their kids play. And this thing's huge. This is like way bigger than a traditional Little League field that I've gone to. Like look how much space is between what I'm guessing would be the base of the diamond, right? That thing's massive. If you go to like Silverado Park and compare it to this, crazy different. Even these poles that I'm assuming are gonna hold up netting, like those are giant. Like I said, I'm gonna have to come and get some pickleball training in. Never played once, but 
pretty sure I could mop some people up in some pickleball. <laughs> it's such an unintimidating sport, pickleball. Like, just watching people play, it's like, ah, I could do that. We might have to get some content for that, me playing pickleball for the first time, <laughs> just to see how, how epically I fail. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, and at some point you'll see me fail miserably at pickleball. But yeah, you can see them putting together the pickleball courts. That's gonna be really cool. On the back side, there's gonna be soccer as well. So a soccer field set up. In Inspirata, we get a lot of clubs that come out and do their, their games on the weekends out here. I mean, the other soccer fields that we have in Inspirata get a ton of action. I'm sure this area is gonna be packed just about every weekend. That's one of the benefits of being in Southern Nevada is the weather is generally good year long. Obviously in summer, it gets a bit hot to be out in the middle of the day, but I mean, 12 months out of the year, you're able to, to get your recreational sports in. Just right below us, you've got single-story homes by Toll Brothers, which are on a different level than the KB homes that are being built just to the west of us. And being able to understand the dynamics of the value in the homes being different, um, especially like if you're selling your home, listing a home for sale, like a 2,000 square foot home that's single story built by Toll Brothers is not gonna be of equal value to like a 2,000 square foot KV home that's two story. So you have to really understand the different little pods that we have in Inspirata. It's very nuanced. There's a lot of um, really intricate details and even a lot of the appraisers won't know about those details. So you have to be able to, to break it down, explain it even at the appraisal level. Um, to make sure you're getting the most possible value for your home when you're selling. Even just some, like the house we're looking out at to right now, you have to take a look at this huge backyard, which is, you know, rare for Inspirata, but that's also a single story Toll Brothers home with a really nice looking pool in the backyard. And once that thing's fully landscaped, it's gonna be a prime piece of real estate. So understanding these little sections, because Inspirata is really broken up into seven different pods or towns. And then within those, there's little sub neighborhoods. Over in here is like pod six, and you need to know that Toll Brothers built in there, Party built in there, and then now uh, what is TriPoint is building in there. Different price point than the KB homes that are being built just right off to the left of us in pod seven. All those little tiny dynamics, like you really need somebody that knows their stuff when it comes to Inspirata because it's super nuanced. You could really miss out on some of the opportunity that's there for you if you weren't keeping track of those little details. Back where we came from, where we started from up there, we're like at one clear side of Inspirata. And then you can even see down below us where there's a trail that's gonna keep going. It's gonna make it so easy to get from one of the furthest south points of Inspirata all the way into the center where the town center is. There's gonna be, you know, the Inspirata Station Casino, which take a look for my video because we did a deep dive on that and how it's similar to Green Valley Ranch. But it's gonna be so easy just like walkability wise for you to be living in your house, walk down to the center of town where like all the restaurants are, all the shopping is, and then be able to just walk back home and enjoy like a nice summer night, you know? Super awesome that they have like the walkability of it all, just the paths to be able to make it from one side of the neighborhood to the other. Down here, we're overlooking where a soccer field would be, and then I'm envisioning it could probably be a football field as well. We'll probably get like multi-use out of it, maybe even some lacrosse. These views with the strip in the background playing soccer in here, get some stands set up, people are just watching their kids or their family members play some soccer, and you just got the Las Vegas strip in the background, like that's, that's ridiculous, like unique opportunity to be elevated and be able to see the Las Vegas Strip out here in Henderson is awesome. I don't know if you guys have seen like the renderings of like what they potentially have for the Las Vegas ballpark from home plate looking out at the Strip. Like something like this in your own backyard is basically literally the same thing that a major league franchise is trying to make happen for themselves. All of this is going to be KB Homes. Already basically grading things. Um, same builder as the homes right behind us and the same builder that's got homes right over there. You can see those ones are, are being worked on. That's pod seven over there. So plenty of building that's still going on and similar to if you've seen our videos where we're talking about a Tessa Park, there's homes there where you can literally just step out your front door and walk right into the Atessa Park right there. It's basically gonna be the same thing. There's gonna be homes that are built right here where you can step out your front door, your kids can go knock on the neighbor's door, get the neighborhood kids together, and run and hang out at the park that literally steps from your front door.
Now we're back at what the front entrance would be. So we got parking over here and there's some sort of a roundabout mound. No idea what this is gonna be. So drop a comment below, let us know what you think this is gonna be and then subscribe so that when we do our follow up video and see this whole thing finished up, you can see exactly what this turned out to be. Hope you guys are doing good. If you wanna live in the Inspirata community, have questions, need some help in navigating this area, give me a call or shoot me a text, 702-580-1071. We'll see you guys on the next one. Later. Dude, what the heck is this thing gonna be? This is gonna be a sign if it just it looks like it's set up for some trees. Uh, no idea. Maybe a water feature? It's gonna be something.